Hello. Today, I will be modeling a simple triangular plate. Let's begin. First, we head to our units. Select millimeter. Then we change our view. Next, head over to sketching. Select polyline and create a triangle. This section needs to be where the letter C shows up on the X axis. Right click, then select close end. Now we need to make sure that our triangle has equal length. For this, we must go to constraints. Select equal length. Select one section, then another. Then select this section again, and then select this section. Now that our sections are equal, we can set our dimensions. Head to dimensions, horizontal, select this section here, then select this point. Next, select this point and the Y axis. Now we can edit them. This section will be 300 and the other dimension is 200. Fit to our screen. Next, we want to draw an arc. There are many ways to draw an arc in ANSYS. I'll be using arc by center. Arc by center, starting with one corner, select, and we want the letter C on this section. And then we move our cursor to the other section, another letter C. Now we want to replicate this arc on the other corners of the triangle. Modify, replicate, change the radius to 120, select the arc itself, then the corner. Right click, click, right click, rotate by R. Go to the next corner, letter C, click again, rotate by R. The final corner, you want the letter C. Right click, select end. Next, we will trim away unwanted sections. We do this by going to Modify, Trim. Next, we want to verify that our constraints have not changed. Go to Constraints, Equal Length, select one section, and another section and select this section and select this section. Next, we want to make sure that our geometry has symmetry. We go back to constraints and select symmetry. Select the X axis and the arc here and the arc here. 
Next, we will change our dimensions on the geometry again. Go back to Dimensions, General, select this section. Edit the dimension to be 40. Now we will create the center of the plate by creating an offset. We do this by going to Modify, Offset. Before applying the offset, be sure that your drawing has all of the points connected. Otherwise, you will receive an error when trying to apply an offset. Let's begin by changing the select mode to box select so we can select our sketch in one click. At the top, box select. Select somewhere outside of the sketch, click and drag, selecting the entire sketch, right click, end selection, place offset. Move your cursor around and there's your offset. Click, right click, end. Now that we have an offset, the next step is to create dimensions for this offset. Heading over to the Dimensions tab, Horizontal, select this section of the offset, and select this section of the triangle. This will be 30 millimeters. Next, we will select the fillet. We go to Modify, Fillet, change the radius to 10 select one edge select the other edge repeat this process until all of the fillets have been created now that our fillets are created we will add another dimension which is the radius. Notice that it already says 10 millimeters. We can edit the radius at any time. Now our final sketch is ready to become 3D. Select the ISO view. Select Extrude. Determine how thick you want the geometry. For this application, we will make the plate 10 millimeters. Press Enter and select Generate. Now, fit to screen. And there we have it.